dear brothers and sisters, today we gather here, united by faith, hope, and the love that binds us together. As we sit in this sacred space, I want to talk to you about something deeply personal and profoundly universal. The brokenness we experience in our lives and the unwavering promise that God will restore what is broken, we all have moments when life feels shattered. It could be the loss of a loved one, the end of a relationship, financial struggles, health issues, or the internal battles we fight within ourselves. Each of us carries scars, visible and invisible, that tell the stories of our pain and suffering. But I am here to remind you today that our God is a God of restoration. He sees our brokenness, and He is committed to making us whole again. Imagine your heart as a delicate piece of pottery. Over time, it gets chipped, cracked, and sometimes even shattered into pieces. It can feel as though those pieces are too many and too scattered to ever be put back together. Yet, in the hands of our Creator, those fragments are not a final defeat, but the beginning of a beautiful restoration. God's process of restoration is often likened to the art of Kintsugi, a Japanese method of repairing broken pottery with gold instead of hiding the imperfections. Kintsugi highlights them, making the repaired piece more beautiful and valuable than before. Similarly, God takes the broken pieces of our lives and fills them with His grace, love, and mercy, creating something more beautiful and resilient. I know that waiting for restoration can be hard. It can be excruciatingly painful to sit in the midst of our brokenness feeling as though there is no end in sight. But remember, God's timing is perfect. He knows when and how to heal us in ways that are far beyond our understanding. Trust in His process, for He is working even when we cannot see it. God's promise of restoration is not just about fixing what is broken, but transforming it. He doesn't simply put the pieces back together as they were. He transforms them into something new, something that carries the beauty of his craftsmanship. Your scars, your past, and your pain become testimonies of his incredible power to redeem and renew. Consider the times when you have faced adversity and come out stronger, wiser, and more compassionate. Those moments are not mere coincidences. They are the evidence of God's hand at work in your life. He takes the trials we endure and turns them into triumphs. Our brokenness becomes a canvas for His grace, a stage for His miracles. You might be wondering, how can God restore my brokenness? What steps do I need to take? The first step is to come to Him with an open heart. Acknowledge your pain, your fears, and your doubts. God already knows them, but He desires for you to come to Him willingly, laying down your burdens at His feet. It is in this act of surrender that the process of restoration begins. Next, allow God's love to fill those broken places. Surround yourself with His Word, His promises, and His people. Engage in prayer, not just as a ritual, but as a heartfelt conversation with your Creator. Share your deepest thoughts and listen for His voice. God speaks to us in many ways, sometimes through the quiet whispers in our hearts, other times, through the encouragement of a friend or the beauty of His creation. Be patient with yourself and with God's process. Restoration takes time. It is not a quick fix, but a journey of healing and growth. Trust that God is with you every step of the way. He is the shepherd who guides us through the darkest valleys, the potter who molds us, and the healer who mends our wounds. Remember, too, that restoration is not a solitary journey. We are called to support and uplift one another. Your story of brokenness and restoration can become a beacon of hope for someone else. Share your experiences, your struggles, and your victories. In doing so, you become a part of God's restorative work in the lives of others. 
Let us also practice forgiveness, both for ourselves and for those who have wronged us. Holding on to bitterness and resentment only prolongs our brokenness. Forgiveness is a powerful act of healing that frees us from the chains of our past. It allows God's love to flow through us, bringing restoration not just to ourselves, but to our relationships and communities. My beloved friends, I want you to hold on to this truth. God will restore what is broken. No matter how shattered your life may seem, no matter how deep the wounds, God's promise of restoration stands firm. He is the master restorer, the one who brings beauty from ashes, joy from mourning, and praise from despair. So, dear brothers and sisters, let us stand together in faith. Let us embrace the hope that God offers and trust in His power to restore. Your brokenness is not the end of your story. In God's hands, it is the beginning of a beautiful, transformed life. My friends, let's delve deeper into how we can actively participate in God's work of restoration in our lives and in the lives of those around us. One of the key aspects of restoration is recognizing and embracing our brokenness. We often hide our pain, thinking it makes us weak or unworthy. However, acknowledging our brokenness is the first step towards healing. It is in our vulnerability that we allow God to work. When we open up about our struggles, we give others the courage to do the same, creating a community of support and understanding. In this community, let us learn to be gentle with ourselves and with each other. Healing is not a linear process. It has its ups and downs. There will be days when we feel like we are making great progress, and days when we feel like we are back at square one. That is okay. God's love is constant, and His grace is sufficient for every step of the journey. Encourage each other, uplift each other, and remind each other of God's promises. Another important aspect of restoration is gratitude. It might seem counterintuitive to be thankful in times of brokenness, but gratitude shifts our focus from our pain to the blessings that surround us. It opens our eyes to God's presence in our lives and helps us see His hand at work. Make it a habit to count your blessings, even the small ones. Write them down, share them with others, and let gratitude fill your heart with hope. Prayer is our direct line to God our source of strength and comfort. It is through prayer that we can pour out our hearts to Him and seek His guidance. Pray for your own healing, and also pray for others who are going through similar struggles. There is immense power in collective prayer. When we pray for each other, we create a chain of support that binds us together in love and faith. Faith is the anchor that holds us steady in the storm. It is the assurance that God is in control, even when everything seems to be falling apart. Strengthen your faith by immersing yourself in God's Word. Let His promises be the foundation upon which you stand. Remember that God's plans for you are good, plans to give you hope and a future. Trust in His wisdom and His timing. As you journey towards restoration, do not be afraid to seek help. God works through many avenues, including the support of friends, family, and professionals. Sometimes talking to a counselor or joining a support group can provide the additional strength and perspective you need. There is no shame in seeking help. It is a sign of wisdom and strength. Let us also embrace the power of forgiveness. Holding onto grudges and past hurts only weighs us down and hinders our healing. Forgiveness is not about condoning what was done to us. It is about freeing ourselves from the chains of bitterness. It is a gift we give ourselves, a step towards emotional and spiritual freedom. Ask God to help you forgive, and let His love guide you in this difficult but liberating process. 
As we walk this path of restoration, let us remember the words of Jesus. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11, 28. We are not meant to carry our burdens alone. God invites us to bring them to him, to lay them at his feet, and to find rest in his loving embrace. Dear brothers and sisters, let us hold on to the hope that God offers. Let us trust in his promise to restore what is broken, no matter where you are in your journey. Know that God is with you, working all things for your good. He is the great restorer, the healer of our hearts, and the author of our lives. Today, let us leave this place with a renewed sense of hope and faith. Let us be the light in each other's lives, supporting and encouraging one another as we journey towards restoration. Let us be a community that reflects God's love and grace, a community where brokenness is met with compassion and restoration. Beloved friends, let us carry with us the assurance that God's restoration is not just a distant promise, but a present reality. Though our journeys may be marked by trials and tribulations, let us hold fast to the truth that God is faithful to His Word. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and His love for us knows no bounds. In our moments of doubt and despair, let us remember the countless times He has brought restoration into our lives, turning our mourning into dancing and our sorrow into joy. As we step out into the world, let us be beacons of hope to those around us who are still grappling with their brokenness. Let our lives be a testament to the transformative power of God's love. Let us extend a hand of compassion to the brokenhearted, a word of encouragement to the downtrodden, and a shoulder to lean on for those who are weary. Let us also be mindful of our own need for restoration. Just as a garden requires tending and care to flourish, so too do our hearts and souls. Take time each day to nourish your spirit through prayer, meditation, and reflection. Seek out moments of stillness in the midst of life's busyness and allow God to speak to you in the quietness of your heart. And when the storms of life threaten to overwhelm you, remember that you are not alone. God is with you guiding you through the darkest valleys and leading you to green pastures of peace and restoration. Lean on Him for strength, and He will sustain you. Trust in His plan for your life, and He will lead you to a place of wholeness and abundance. Dear friends, as we go forth from this place, may we walk in the knowledge that God's restoration is not limited by our circumstances or our shortcomings. His love knows no bounds, and His power to heal is limitless. May we live each day with hearts full of gratitude for the restoration we have received, and with hope for the restoration yet to come. My friends, as we conclude our time together, I want to encourage you to continue seeking God's restoration in your lives. Remember, the journey towards wholeness is ongoing and it is often made richer when shared with others. If you found today's message uplifting and inspiring, I invite you to share it with your friends, family, and anyone else who might benefit from these words of hope and encouragement. Together, we can create a community of support and love, where brokenness is met with compassion and restoration. Additionally, if you haven't already done so, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. By doing so, you'll stay updated on future sermons and resources that can help deepen your faith and nourish your soul. Let us continue to journey together, hand in hand, as we embrace God's promise of restoration and walk in the abundant life He has prepared for us. Thank you for being a part of this community, and may God's blessings be upon you always. Now. Let us open our hearts to prayer. Dear God, I come to you today with a heavy heart, 
seeking your restoration in my life. I feel broken and weary, both spiritually and financially. I ask for your divine intervention and healing touch to restore what has been broken. You are the God of all creation, and I trust in your power to bring about restoration in my life. I pray for financial restoration, Lord. It feels overwhelming to face financial struggles, and I ask for your wisdom and guidance in managing my resources. Help me to make wise decisions and to be good stewards of the blessings you have given me. I trust that you will provide for all my needs according to your riches and glory. Healing is also greatly needed, Lord. I ask for your healing touch to mend the broken areas of my life. Heal the wounds in my heart and bring peace to my spirit. Grant me the strength and resilience to overcome the challenges I face. I believe in your promise of restoration and your ability to bring beauty out of the brokenness. I surrender my concerns and worries to you, knowing that you are always faithful and true. Help me to keep my faith and trust in you, even in the midst of trials. I am confident that you will restore and renew me, bringing forth a season of abundance and joy. Thank you, Lord, for hearing my prayers. I choose to place my hope in you and eagerly anticipate the restoration that you will bring to my life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.